Okay everyone, welcome back after practice at Britain and practice went okay. Seems like we're in relatively good shape. Um, if we look at the R&D progress, we really are in good shape in compared to Mercedes who didn't bring an upgrade here, bizarrely, when every single other team did. <laughs> so uh, Red Bull bought only a tiny update, but Racing Point did as well. The issue with them is that they've now got Ferrari bang on equal with them. If you can see, Ferrari bought a big upgrade here and have leapfrogged up the order. Miss, uh, Renault only bought a small upgrade. McLaren and Alpha Tauri bought a medium one. Uh, but Alpha Romeo also bought a... That, to me, that incline is pretty much a... Um, ultimate type thing or a couple of biggies so they've now leapfrogged ever so slightly ahead of Haas again and Williams bought a tiny upgrade which is fine for them but that is really crucial um, because that puts more development daylight between Mercedes and us uh, and it also kind of drops them a little bit into uh, being less clear from the rest of the field which is handy for us if there's ever the chance where we can get someone in between us. Uh, you'll also see that we've gained enough on the R&D front to be able to tackle a potential upgrade. Um, and I'm thinking why don't we just focus on trying to clear um, all of this out. Now we've got the engine and the tyre wear upgrades. So actually I'm going to hold off and we'll do the ultimate aero next time around. Uh, we've done all of that. Moved all of those across. Let's go quali. It's going to be a dry weekend by the looks of it, which is exactly what I need. <laughs> no rain, please. I'm Egyptian. Let's see how we get on. I'm not the fastest at Silverstone. I also now have to take a confidence lift round that corner because I'm so fast through it with the new car. Oh, that was terrible. Um that it's now made me slower around that corner although I kind of catch it up a wee bit later on around the lap P13 I think not Smithy. What is going on? Okay, let's see how we get on around the Silverstone circuit. Not one of the most fastest at, it must be said. Oh, what was that? Scruffy Sector 1. Oh wow, Delatrez up front. Go Louis. He did look good in practice. Yeah, this has not worked out to be a good lap at all. Oh, I think Hamilton's got it. Seven. Oh dear. Not a good look. We're 
ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, <sighs> let's have a quick look at those wow. who will be fronting the grid. Hamilton, Delatraz, and Valtteri Bottas. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Okay, so Hamilton, Delatraz, Bottas, Kvyat, Gasly, Norris, me, terrible lap, Perez, Albon, Russell, Sainz, Stroll, Ricardo, and Leclerc, Ferrari's improvement slowly bringing in, so close to the field, uh, Verstappen, Ocon, Giovinazzi, Grosjean ahead of De Vries, again Haas able to tackle De Vries there now, um, Magnussen, King and Latifi. Just not a good lap from me at all there, was it? We'll have to sort that out come race time. It's going to be a tricky one. Might be a bit more action-packed. If I can get myself up to fourth, I'll be happy. Mm. Welcome along then to Great Britain and the Great Silverstone Circuit. But let's run you through the driver grid order Please. for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Louis Delatraz completes the front row. Nice. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bottas, Fiat, Pierre Gasly and Norris, Smith, Perez, Albon and George Russell, Sainz, Stroll, Daniel Ricciardo and Leclerc. Verstappen, Ocon, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Roman Grosjean, De Vries, Magnussen, King, and Nicholas Latifi. That's it then, it's time to go racing hmm. as we head to trackside for today's race. Nice clean start, nice clean start. Don't take unnecessary risks. Okay, so I've boosted the fuel up to make sure that we can go max 3 for a long time. Nice. exactly what I needed. Okay, let's go and help out Louis. Where's not looking like he's keeping That's up with Hamilton. Start. Good job. But then I think we're coming at this from very different car perspectives. Mercedes have got an almighty engine, whereas we've got almighty aerodynamics, so we should be better at different parts of the circuit, in theory. Yeah, Hamilton has checked out out front, hasn't he?
everyone up to Tafris going through, then there's a big ass gap. Go, go now. Oh, Norris has beat, and Albon has beat out poor Gasly there. Oh, we're going to get a Williams in the way. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Only one of them. That's Latifi in 16th. Okay. We can have him quite happily. Now I'm hoping... Relative clear air and newish grip will be helpful. Louis is in the pits. Louis in the pits. Fastest sector two of the lot, that's handy to know. Thank you, Latifi. literally back where we were the car behind has boxed for the mediums car behind on the medium tire the thing of interest now is Bottas has clearly decided to stay out longer is that going to work to his advantage or not we have five laps of fuel remaining because it wanted me to stay out longer and I chose not to. Oh, hello. Oh, he hit me. Anything actually that's made Bottas closer, hasn't it? We advise moving to mix two, fuel to mix two. Giovinazzi and Leclerc. of fuel remaining. I 
going to say some people must still not have pitted. And they haven't. And there's Russell. And there's Ricardo. Hang a straight, mate. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. The gap to the car ahead is 4.4 seconds. To freeze out for, I think, the second race in a row. Less than a lap of fuel now. The tank is empty. Because Bottas just got round Hamilton at the last quarter. He has! Caution, caution. Oh, is there... Oh, hang on. Caution, Norris. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Bizarre end. I don't think I am driver of the day, but okay. <laughs> so another fantastic. Right on Toto. Bottas getting Hamilton right at the end. Then it turns back on the podium again. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top. So let's review the updated driver's standings. Valtteri Bottas takes the top spot. He's our new driver's championship leader after today's results. Oh, wow. So, Anthony Davidson, who would yeah, you okay. rank as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Smith. That was a commanding mm. performance today. Very impressive indeed. It's no. time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. No change in the top spot, but with today's points, their hold on the lead is getting weaker. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. Red Bull did have well, a good run at fifth and sixth. An incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon. Then Norris, who's 
bizarre last corner antics. I'm not having that. It was yellow flags. Gasly and Stroll round out the order. Ricardo, so that late stop worked for Ricardo. Signs, Ocon, Leclerc, Verstappen, Giovinazzi, Magnussen. Didn't work for Russell down in 18th. Grosjean, King, Latifi. De Vries nowhere again. Uh, lapped down there. So. Ricardo, Leclerc, Giovinazzi, and Russell. They're all in drama. De Vries mechanical failure right at the end. Nice and simple on the pit stops. Standing wise, then. Bottas does indeed take the lead by two points. Delatraz moves into third ahead of Ricardo. Hamilton moves into fifth ahead of Leclerc. Then Kvyat signs. No other changes dropping down the order. Ocon and Perez equal on points, though. And that is Red Bull, actually. I think they do move ahead of McLaren because of that 5 6. Silly Norris. <laughs> you could have stopped that if you'd have just stayed behind. Never mind. Mercedes next. Now 20 points. Oh, they're catching up, aren't they? I'm not liking it. Ferrari, Red Bull. I don't think Alfa Romeo is safe in eighth if Racing Point can get a string of results together. I'm not liking this title chase. It's a bit too close for my liking. And that was a scrappy race from me. The fans really seem to enjoy that. It made it look easy. Mm. This race has cost you first place in the championship. Do you think you have what it takes to get it back? You were cutting your way through the field during the race. Uh... I thought that was a aero. How do you feel this season is going for you? Is the car competitive? Oh, you've not given me aero again. Um, power unit. Your teammate is up on the podium today. This is a great thing for the team, isn't it? Yay. Great. Well, that's everything. You're welcome. Uh, at least he now we now have got Delatrez up there battling away as he should be. <laughs> oh, that's going to hurt the rivalry, isn't it? Oof. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Give me that level 20, bitches. Oh, no damage for Delatraz, even though he was spanking alongside Bottas. And that's good cash-wise, because I think that will bring us up to 12... Yeah, three more races, three, four more races, and we'll have... The upgrade that we want for the um okay hungary is up next to be the final race before we round off uh for the summer break let's immediately renew our xenon dynamics sponsor and dive straight in actually to the customization stick them on where they should be Thank you very much okay so that's that for the activities I've gone with sponsor advertisement for drivers because look at the team claim that that gives us and some cash and I've gone for two resource points things for the powertrain and chassis 
if you look up top we've got enough here to do some R&D and you know where we're going we're going straight in here for the aerodynamics and the big power one and we'll get it before Hungary oh superb well I'm loving life now okay so we've got that surprised me actually let's see what we can do let's hope this all works so tire blankets straight in great exhaust straight in we're they in both worked now where we're able to attract a new sponsor to the team oh head over to the corporate tab and select the sponsors screen to choose who we should approach trophy remember the name level 20 we've got it i wondered if that would tip us over the edge and it has quick let's grab a new sponsor <laughs> Yes. Okay. So this will be a. I've not even. I didn't prepare for this. So let's sort by goal bonus. Oh, it's unlocked some more, hasn't it? Achieve the maximum amount. Oh my god. Beleza. Do I do a hundred laps? Don't. I don't want to tempt it with pole. Qualifying P4 or better? Hmm. Achieve a top four finish during the race would be interesting. I feel like achieve the fastest lap in any session would be good because I normally get the fastest lap in FP3 because that's when I do my quali run. Let's sign with Sudo. And let's put them on the car. So we have... Let's do select. Let's get Susu. That is very me. Isn't it? Getting in some Japan. Our new parts have been completed without issue. Yes! We'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. Fab. Fab, 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 fab. Let's go off to Hungary and see what on earth we're doing. Okay, welcome back after practice, which has not gone very well at Hungary, bizarrely. Uh, we had a wet... We've got a race that's going to start in dry and turning wet. That'll be joyous. It was wet in FP2, which wasn't great. Uh, I was second in FP1 and in FP3 because Delatraz beat me right at the very last moment in both sessions. So clearly he's on a roll here. And so is us as a team. Look at that amazing growth that we got between Britain and Hungary. It's put us, I think, clear that we could actually aim for a 1-2 here in Hungary, despite the fact that I'm not very good at this circuit. So we'll see how we get on. Mercedes have had an increase, as have Red Bull, as have Ferrari, but they've pulled away slightly from Racing Point. Uh, Renault have now got Alpha Tauri for company, as you can see, side by side. They've pulled slightly clear from McLaren. Alfa Romeo and Haas upgraded the identical amount, as did Williams, so no big changes there. Um, let me just move this all across to the new stoof again. I could technically probably start using another one of some of these anyway. Uh, and then the last thing I wanted to do, um, and I was umming and ahhing over whether I should go for one of these instead but they wouldn't hit for Belgium anyway so I'm going to do the final one here of aerodynamics for the DRS flap because it will be in in time for Belgium and then that will be that entire section completed and done we've also started to give good stuff um, to the durability section uh, as well so it's worthwhile just kind of pointing that one out let's go to quali good luck me I'm sticking with a dry setup because that's only going to get very wet right at the end and I think we'll be able to cope with it 
plus I wasn't terrible when it was full wet on a dry setup round here in FP2. I'm terrible in the last two corners of this track, so I need about three tenths advantage to get ahead because I, all I lose is everything in sector three. And it's specifically this corner. I don't know what I do with this corner, but I just don't do it right. This looks like pole. Nice. Okay, good job, mate. Really well done. That was a fantastic drive. I'm surprised that was Hamilton in second. I thought that would be Delatraz. He's been top of all of the sheet time sheets in every session. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before oh, we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid: Smith, Hamilton, and Louis Delatraz. I still think that With bodes us well. Complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Albon ahead of Bottas, that's handy from the constructor's point of view. Then Gasly, Kvyat, Leclerc, Perez, Russell. Norris looking in a good place. In 11, Ricardo, Stroll, Verstappen. Doing better for Alfa Romeo ahead of Sainz and Ocon. De Vries also a bit better than recent times. Giovinazzi not great. The two Hasses on row 10 and the two Williamses on row 11. That's a shame because Haas were punching a little bit more above their weight in quality. Would drop back in the race, but I'm not able to do that here. I wonder if the sponsor of saying it's being fastest in any session applies to quality. Awesome, that puts us even Stevens. That's good. Because we may run into a wee bit of a mm, semi-issue, potentially, at Belgium, because we don't have the fastest engine this year. So let's drive well, drive clean. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Smith lines up on pole position Woo! and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Delatraz, Albon, Valtteri Bottas, and Gasly, Fiat, Leclerc, Perez, and George Russell, Norris, Stroll, Carlos Sainz, and Ocon, De Vries, Giovinazzi, Kevin Magnussen, and Roman Grosjean, King, Latifi, Ricardo and Max Verstappen Ooh, completes dear. the grid. It's almost That's a spicy back row. Red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Very spicy back row. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Yeah, no, we will stay with that. Oh, it will only let us do that anyway, okay. Do it because I will use the fuel.
So then Bottas has got round Kvyat though. Think we may see some rain. ETA is about fifteen minutes. Oh, shit. I don't know what Just put in the fastest lap of the race. Box, box, we're coming in this lap. condition is still looking good. few in the pits. Exit, exit now. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Right, just ahead of the Tiffy. That's exactly what I needed. And plenty ahead of Verstappen. He of course started at the back, didn't he? And then with Danny Rick. Louis 
Tanks coming in for a stop. Delatraz has got out just in front of Verstappen. I think he gained in all of that. Yeah, 2.3. Wow. Max and a Minardi sandwich. Kvyat's on the hards again. Okay, some information on Bottas. They seem to have an issue. Oh, juicy. Verstappen in. Norris in and Bottas that might have fixed the problem of whatever he's got which is rather annoying we'll have to see what his times are like Who's out? Hamilton's out. No. Bottas is just clinging on to the two Red Bulls with his own troubles. That's nuts. And that is huge for the championship. If we are going to cling on to a 1-2, I am backing right off with my mix 2 boring as Delatraz can have the win, I'm still going to close in on Bottas. I think it's very lucky that it's Kvyat on hard tyres, not Albon on mediums all over the back of them. Caution, caution.
work. Well done. Omniardi, one, well two. Nicely done. Three second penalty for me. Go over the day, Daniel Ricardo. Well, he did start 21st, I think. There'll be smiles back at the factory after. There will be. It's a one, two. And we're going to see the podium to enjoy it. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What Woo! a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. Nice one. Everything this game does and it drops it's like weird slow down frames on spraying of champagne. It seems so strange. The stupid paddock pass not giving us any rewards because we didn't pay for the extra paddock pass. Fair enough. So, let's review the driver's standings. Well, the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. Now, let's discuss... Oh, Bottas will still lead, won't he? ...a contender for driver of the day. Louis Delatraz gets my vote today. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. The current leaders continue to extend their lead at the top. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. I don't well, think they do. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula so, 1 action soon. Some really interesting results there, actually. So Bottas grabs third to keep the championship lead in the drivers, but we really excel in the constructors because of Hamilton's retirement. Red Bull get 4-5. They continue to solidify their catch-up to third, but Leclerc grabbed seventh, and that's the best Ferrari result we've had, really since the 1.12 update so well done to Charles Leclerc beating home Perez Russell in the points for racing point is significant for their battle against um, uh, Alfa Romeo the McLaren's 10 and 11 that didn't go to plan Ocon Stroll Ferrari's Ricardo 21st to 14th no wonder he got driver of the day and on the back of that long ass train that Valtteri Bottas was leading until the last lap where he seemed to kick up a gear again. Uh, Giovinazzi didn't quite join the back of that, did he? Neither did the freeze. He beat home Verstappen after Verstappen had to start from the back. The Haas is a few seconds further back and the Williams is another 15 or so back from there. Hards for Kvyat, the only one to do it. I think that was a big mistake. That was me with my <laughs> exceeding track limits penalty, which was fully deserved, frankly. Turn 10, I think it was. I abused. Okay, standings wise. No, we're in the lead. Oh, okay. For goodness sake. So we lead Bottas by a point. Delatraz is 96 further back. It really is a two horse race, I think. Uh, unless shit really hits the fan. Delatraz now to third ahead of Ricardo. Hamilton no score, stays five ahead of Leclerc. Kvyat, Albon gets ahead of Sainz. Perez ahead of Ocon. That's all good there. Red Bull were already ahead of McLaren before this weekend, so that's not changed. But we've now got 49 point advantage over Mercedes. That is glorious and great, because we'll need it. I'm thinking Singapore. <laughs> um, the other juicy one that's going on there Renault and McLaren are still quite close but also Racing Point are now homing in on Alfa Romeo so our first team won two and I didn't get the one juicy stuff Great work out there today. Let's mm -hmm. have your thoughts. Ish. Your team secured the top two positions. Is it safe to say you're a winning combination? <laughs> your teammate took the number one spot. Does that make you happy or jealous? Oh, 
podium finish for your teammate. Will you be celebrating with them tonight? Hmm. Who are we bum licking? Who are we bum licking? Let's bum lick. Let's do. Hmm. Let's do powertrain. You lost your teammate today. Was it just not your day? Uh. Great. Well, that's everything. I wish they mapped out those questions better. Oh, sorry. Sorry for the yawn. It's ten past four in the morning when I'm recording this. That's glorious. Gives us an advantage for when we get to the trickier races of Singapore. Probably Japan as well, actually, to be honest. Juicy juice juice. Now, what will it do with this fourth sponsor? Achieve the first lap in any session. I got pole, so yeah, it gave us it. Great. And you know what that's going to bring? Juicy Lucy. Okay. Right, so we've got the season break, then the Belgian Grand Prix. I know exactly what I want to do. So we are going to... We've got 15 million, right. <sighs> do I though? Do I, do I, do I? I don't care about a claim. We've reached our high peak there. I do care about the personnel. I do also care about the durability though. Particularly the failure chance, that's the thing. Hmm. Do you know what? Let's do the simulator. We saved waited for the fifteen million. Let's do it. Done. <clears throat> Make Delatraz even more formidable. Uh we've got six ninety. Well, we could, you know. I'd rather wait and attack one of these though. I think. Yeah, and then we can really say like Oh, the durability team. Oh, the durability team. All the way through. Plus, we're getting more of a speed discount with those. Okay. Let's look at the activities very quickly. Oh, it's got to be that, really, hasn't it? And we'll do that just for lols. Let's have a little bit of will to finish off <clears throat> before we go after the summer break. Thanks so much for the invitation to your HQ. Let's have a little chat about the team's performance this season. Your second driver seems to be throwing themselves into all your team's activities. Is this aiding in their development? Louis' focus has pushed their performance to the next level. Your second driver seems to be breaking all expectations. What's the secret to their success? has been able to challenge the very top teams. Is it safe to say you've surprised everyone? Uh. 
sponsors seem to be climbing over one another to get their name onto your car. What do you plan on investing that extra money into? Ooh. Would it be safe to say that in terms of team orders, your career comes first in your team? And wonderful to spend some time with you best of luck out on track okay well, next up is belgium we're doing a durability team update to make them happy and go lucky and joyous because we're going to start investing in that very shortly i do want to do one more thing though and that's around fuel efficiency and we'll do a little upgrade here 